All right, I am ready for the day. Dressed in all black. The kids are just watching some YouTube. I'm gonna open my blinds up. You're dancing? Yeah. I love your dancing jumpies. Goofy boy, can I have a hug and kiss? I can give you one. Oh, Amelia too? Oh, my baby. I love you. Soaking it up, soaking it up. Mila, can I have a hug? Me dancing. You're so cute. I love you. Cody lounging on his bed. I've got some nurse socks here that my Aunt Candy got me for Christmas. Very nice of her. And Mila? Can I have a hug and kiss? Oh my goodness. Mommy? Yeah. Can you make us breakfast? I'm going to get Daddy up to make breakfast, yeah. Let me see. Let me grab my phone. My kiss on the TV. I love you. All right. So I'm going to go get Amir up. He is laying in Isaiah's bed. Babe, can you get up and make the kids breakfast? I'll pick out Amelia's clothes for school. Um, so my mom is getting a medical bed today which she's excited about um, to make it easier and more comfortable for her to sleep and um, she has like two steps as you guys if you saw my last video down to her bedroom and right after I filmed that video she had her first mini little fall in the middle of the night trying to go to the bathroom so we are moving her bedroom into the living room setting her up with the medical bed and then redoing her bathroom to include a shower so that she does not have to go down those couple steps in her house at all. Safer for everybody. But um, that means she gave us her furniture. So our furniture was pretty old. It actually was my mom's old, old furniture. It was those leather like recliner couches, but they were pretty, they're a little bit busted and um, just old. This furniture she got, a year, two years ago, when she first moved into her house before we found out that she had ALS and now that we're turning the living room into a bedroom for her, we got the furniture. So, minus Amir's gaming chair that goes right there. This is the new couch. I have to pull it forward a little bit because I think it's too far back, but um, I moved our white, little table here in the middle and then we have a chair that matches this set that's going to be coming today but she kept it for now for something to sit on at home but once the bed comes she, we're going to get that chair and that'll go right there so we have a a new living room furniture set okay i need to get amelia's clothes for school at least all ready i saw amir is up and making um, Amir's up and making breakfast. All right. Mia, I'm going to put your clothes on the table. And then you need to come eat breakfast, okay? Oh boy. Oh boy. Look. Wow. What are you watching, Santa? Look. Let's get the pie. Oh. Okay, let's see. We need a mug. 
for coffee. Hi, Cody. Amir has recently become a coffee drinker. He, to this point in his life, has not been a coffee drinker, but he drinks a lot of energy drinks and um, five wow. hours, and they're just not good for you. Sure, they're not good for you, so I recommended he try coffee. And I guess he found love with Starbucks. <laughs> So now I have to battle for the coffee mugs and my coffee in the morning. I'm gonna try to get him his own little coffee mug though. We'll see. I don't think that our trash got taken this morning because we shoved a huge thing in it hoping that they would still take it, but unless they haven't come yet, it's not gone. Today at work, I am at triage. Um, it's Wednesday, and every Wednesday and Friday is triage day for me. I do have a lot to get done today, though. I saved, like, um, two forms, two big forms to fill out. I think one is like disability paperwork and one is a motor vehicle accident insurance paperwork. So I have those to fill out today at work that I want to get done and I probably have some prior auth sitting up at the desk and I really have to work on my immunizations this morning as well because I have a new binder I mentioned a couple of vlogs ago that I need to organize and I haven't gotten around to it yet and I also have to place an order for some more immunizations that I haven't gotten around to yet so I do have a lot of things on my agenda today for work and just try to whittle away at my triage and go in and see who needs help with today Ooh, that would be my winter wipers uh, hopefully it'll be a pretty easy day. Um, when I get home from work, I plan on going over to my mom's with the kids to see her new bed. And I think that's it. <laughs> I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who reached out to me after my last video about my mom. Um, I appreciate it more than you guys probably know. It just It means a lot to me to to have support from friends, family, and all of my subscribers or, or people that I, I don't even know. It just means a lot when people take the time to reach out to you and, and just give a nice word or anything. So thank you all for that. All right, you guys, so we just pulled in. I actually brought my lunch today, but let's head in and start this day. Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my Let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I
Okay, we're on lunch finally. This morning went really good. I'm eating one of the Aldi's pre-made salads for lunch. I have croutons and salad dressing in my bag here. So I'm gonna make a little salad. I'm in my car so I can talk to you guys and then I'll probably go in in about 15 minutes after I eat my salad just to chill and relax before I have to get back on the triage desk. So what did I do this morning? I did a lot of blood draws for um, one of the nurse practitioners, one of the other staff members needed help because they just had a really busy morning. So I helped draw um, some people, as you guys saw. Um, I was at the triage desk, so I did triage. Um, there were forms, like I had said this morning, that I needed to fill out. Faxing, there's always a lot of faxing that needs to be done. I'm always filling out fax forms and faxing things. And then um, this past Friday, I missed work because of my mom's little fall she had. So I met with um, our nurse manager and a couple other nurses that also missed the meeting and we got ourselves caught up on what the nurses went over at the meeting. We have a nurses meeting usually about once a month to go over everything that's going on. So that was good, it was good. It's a little late, later than I take a lunch. It's like 12.50 right now, and usually I go to lunch either at 12 or 12.30. So I'm taking a little bit later for lunch because of the meeting, but um, you still have to take 30 minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat my lunch and then go back. My I just called my mom as well during work because they almost delivered her medical bed to the wrong address because zip code is important. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure she's got the bed right now, but I'm going to text her in a little bit and just ask her to send a picture so I can see what it looks like. And I'm sure she's rearranging um, the house and getting all settled into that. So I can't wait to see what it looks like. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to tell you guys. Work is done. Oh. So today overall was a pretty good day. I didn't get to film as much as I had wanted in the afternoon and I certainly did not get everything done that I had planned on getting done, which is a typical day uh, as a nurse in a nurse's office. So um, a little later in the afternoon, one of our nurses felt like she was coming down with the flu or just she just did not look good. She felt really sick. so. We said, you know what, go, get out of here, go home and rest, and I took over for her. So I was working with one of the providers, um, helping cover another doctor and um, this girl. So I didn't get as much stuff done as I wanted to, but that you just do as much as you can do throughout a work day. That's all you can do. Well, that was deep. <laughs> right now I'm gonna go home, take a couple minutes in my car, Try to transition over from nurse mode to mom mode slash daughter mode. And um, when I get home, I want to change out my clothes. I want to um, think about what I'm going to make for dinner because I never have a plan as usual. And then I want to um, eventually go over to my mom's. The kids might actually be at my mom's um, right now. In which case, you know, we'll we'll go see her first and make sure that she's all taken care of before um, I feed the kids and myself and make sure everybody has baths and all that good stuff. So it's gonna be a busy night. Um, I'm I still feel okay. I probably in about an hour is when I I start to to lose it a little bit. My my energy goes down and I just. Um, you know, it's like go time at the end of the night. You gotta get all the stuff in before the end of the day. There's not enough hours in the day to get everything done when you have people to care for. So, um, that's about it. <laughs> all right. Did you miss me today? Did you miss me? Say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody.
everybody. Did you have a good day? Did you have a good day? I'm surprised to say the house is actually very clean. I spoke too soon. I knew it was too good to be true. Oh yeah. It's, I think he pulled every uh, Nerf gun and car out. So we're just gonna do one of these. <laughs> wow! I watch you play -Doh videos. This is the new setup. Yeah. Just Nima and I we're watching play -Doh. <laughs> we're, we're playing with trucks. Well, that sounds like a good time. What? Who's there? Hmm. I think I know that little arm. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, here's the bed. My mom's already got all new um, <laughs> comforter and pillow and everything from a friend of hers. Yeah, she likes it. Um, so she, we set up her little nightstand here with remote controls and stuff. This is the CPAP machine. All new sheets. This pillow is really nice, Mom. I think this is all from Target. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks really nice. So this is electric. Um, and it looks it looks nice. It doesn't look quite like a hospital bed. It's, it's still fitting for a room, but she said this is the remote control, right? So it can go up and down the head of the bed. Oh, she's lifting up right now. Wow, Zaya, you like it? The kids really like it. <laughs> that is cool, Mom. You have to see if you sleep better with it. Yeah. Yeah. So my sister was just here. I don't think my mom really needs anything. She said she's gonna heat up her own dinner. Um, how you feeling today? Pretty good? Good. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, there. Yeah. Not too far down, Mimo won't be able to get up. Oh. I am gonna have this summer salad, which is red, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, and onions with Italian dressing. It is so good. I made a huge container of it. So I'm gonna have this and a little leftover stew from the week. What is the issue? Why? Why can't I open it? Because only me. This is my dinner. No, Dad. The tomatoes? Yeah. Can you, can you eat your own dinner? Look at my mom dinner. Look at me. Look at my lips. I can climb. Yeah. Look at. Wow, they. Pretty cool. I'm just taking a second. Oh, I was doing very good today. And then Amelia went to the fridge and got a chicken wing and Cody inhaled the entire chicken wing, bone included. And now I feel like Cody's gonna die and I can't take him to the vet. I have both kids with me. And so, ha! Ah, Sometimes you're good, you're good, you're good, and then that one thing happens and you just lose it. So that's where I'm at right now. Both kids are in the bathroom about to take a bath. And I just need to collect myself for a minute because I just freaked out on Amelia for feeding the dog a chicken wing. I need to wash my toothbrush. It's very yucky. Mom, use toothpaste? Oh, be yucky. Say yes, 
What is this? Is it really minty? Yeah. I want it. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay. I like minty. Ew! That's ew! That's Whoa, that's a lot of mint. Okay. Mm, I don't like it. Okay. I just tasted it. You gotta brush your teeth with mm. it now. I can go now. Brush your teeth. Okay, I am feeling a little bit better from my mini mental breakdown that I just had. The kids are bathed, they're fed, the house is pretty much picked up, so I'm feeling a little bit more calm now. I'm just gonna tackle these dishes and I'm pretty much good for the night. I do have to shower at some point, but I think I'm gonna wait until after both kids are down for bed so that I can shower in peace. Dishes are done, check. I'm gonna fill up my cookie platter here these cookies i did not make these cookies were made by my fabulous co-worker trish she actually made these for my mom but my mom can't eat all of these so she gave us a few and they're so good these are chocolate chip um but they're gluten free so they're made like it's almost like banana bread with chocolate chips but in cookie form and they're so gooey and soft in the middle they're so delicious. So I've been putting my cookies on this little platter I have here recently, covering it with this. And I just think it looks cute here next to all the other decor. So I'll wash this quick and give it back to Trish tomorrow and then it's bedtime for the kids because it's 7.30. Don't bend me. All right, you, lay down. <laughs> me, I'll pick one Franklin book to read, please. Yes. They're not you. Okay, just let 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 say a pick. Whoever, one Franklin book. Let's see which one do we got. Ooh. I picked that book. Franklin is messy. This is an appropriate book. I I I picked out that book. You're goofy. The kids are officially down. I say I went down like that, which usually. Usually he like tosses and turns until like nine o'clock at night and this time he went right down. I think it's because he didn't have a nap today and I have noticed um, recently that if he doesn't get a nap during the day anymore then he goes down really quick at night to bed. But if he gets a nap then he's like up until like nine, nine thirty. So I think he's at that in between stage because he's almost three. He'll be three in April where it might be time to start like weaning back on the naps which is gonna be harder for us during the day because we won't have that break um but easier for us at night so um i am gonna relax um i'm just in bed here i just watched um one of my favorite youtubers um aaron williams um, house tour on my phone and I'm probably gonna throw um, Schitt's Creek on on YouTube because I just started watching that so um, that's about it you guys thank you so much for watching my channel oh I forgot to tell you guys one other thing so um, along with the bed at my house I meant to show you guys while we are over there we got a camera from my mom's house so that my sister and I there is an app on our phone and we can kind of log in and I'll show you guys so this is the app and it's connected to a camera at my mom's house so me and my sister can both um, check on my mom like right now she is sleeping no the lights are off but the tv is still on it looks like but it looks like she's sleeping right here maybe she forgot to turn the tv off or something but so you can move the camera this way that way and it goes like all the way that way um i can turn the sound on so i can hear things i can record something i can speak so if i tap this and then tap the screen i can talk to her through the camera and I can take like a snapshot of whatever's going on. So this is a good way for us to check up on my mom without having to bother her 
and we can just make sure that she didn't fall if she's not responding to us through text or something that she's okay so um yeah I don't know it's kind of like a baby cam but I think it's it's a good idea to have for her with that being said <laughs> Um, I really, again, as I said before, appreciate everybody's love and support with um, us coming out about my mom's diagnosis. I love you guys so much and I wish so bad that my comments were turned on for YouTube, but um, yeah, they're not. So I, I hope that anyone and everyone will reach out to me via um, Instagram or Facebook. Um, instead so that I can interact with you guys because I love interacting and from the bottom of my heart I love you guys and I appreciate everyone's well wishes for me and my mom and my family so I love you guys I hope you enjoyed this one I'm sorry that I had a little mini mental breakdown in the middle of this vlog but whatever that's life I love you guys have a good night bye everyone Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't wait